If you love your truck as much as I love mine, you'll check out realtruck.com. They have over 300,000 different truck accessories, like my headlights that I bought or my lift kit. For more tips and tricks, don't forget to hit that button and subscribe. Also, ring the bell so you can get notifications anytime I have new videos. Welcome to Paul's Toolbox. I'm Paul Ricaldi, and today we are going to cover installing your tub properly. I totally renovated this bathroom, everything in here, and I did it on a budget, right around $10,000 for everything. You just want to make sure that it is level and it is rock solid. What I mean by that is you want to be able to step in this thing and stomp on it and you don't have to worry about this thing cracking because you're going to have a lot of water in here with a lot of weight and when you step in and out of this thing you do not want this thing to flex at all move or squeak or crack too important now once this is installed properly you never have to worry about it again if you decide you want to change this tub i do it in a manner that you can pop it right out and easily put another tub in. All right, guys, I know some of y'all might think this is dumb, but I'm bringing it up anyway. If you have electricity going to this tub for lights or for your jacuzzi or anything like that, you have to make sure it is shut off at the main before you get into this. You do not want to get electrocuted or shocked. On top of that, you have to make sure that your water lines are all shut off because the last thing you want to do is cut this tub, start pulling on it, and yank one of these lines and flood your bathroom. All right, let's get started. In order to remove this, you have to remove the caulk first or cut the caulk. So I take a razor knife and I cut the caulk all the way around, everywhere where it's touching the tub and the wall backsplashes. Then you will pry the pieces off. They pop right off. Once you get behind them a little bit with a pry bar, they usually just release. There are different ways to remove the tub. I like to take and cut it in half. Sometimes I break the corners out or the edges out to get them out of the way and lighten the tub up a little bit. So I took a maul and I popped the ends and cracked them because this is cultured marble. It's thick and it's heavy. So I broke those pieces off. Then I took my reciprocating saw and I cut straight down the center of this thing, right in half. I'm using a multi-purpose blade that's made to cut nails and wood. It's a demo blade. You take your two pieces, you remove them, you clean this up and you're ready to go forward. I use my laser level to put a line all the way across here. You have to have this level or your water is going to look bad in there. You don't want to have this off. So once you determine what your height is, which I, I determined from my shower, I'm going to pull that out after. First I want to get this tub working. Now I, I'm going even with the bottom of this shower right here so when I do tear that out my tile is going to go right across there and we'll be fine. But um, you, you really want to make sure this is level and you want to put some type of bed underneath it that's going to strengthen it up. I'm going to take and put a mortar bed down here with the frame holding it. I'm going to put the mortar bed a little bit higher than the tub. It's going to sit down and push down into that mortar bed so it conforms to it. I'm going to take a plastic bag and cut it so I have plastic on top of the mortar bed. That way it doesn't stick to my tub when I go to pull it out for any reason. If I have to pull it out to change it, or do anything, I won't have all of that concrete sticking to the bottom of the tub. When I laid this in here, I retrofitted it because I wanted to make sure that my plumbing's gonna line up. Now that I have my plumbing lined up, I put tape on the tub and on the wall with a line so I can set it just right back in the exact same spot when I lay it down. I don't wanna be wiggling this thing all over. I'm going to wet this floor, just dampen it right where I, I marked off. I already know that my 2x4 is about the height of the bottom of this uh, tub. And I want it about a half inch higher than this 2x all the way around in the area that I'm working with. So I'm going to need mix up a little bit more that was 60 pounds I need one more 60 pound bag and I have enough time I'll take a little water and put on there and keep it a little damp no big deal
You make sure that all your, your mortar where you want it to sit on a tub is taller than where your tub's going to seat down when it's finished. And this is the height. It's a little bit lower than this 2x4 is where it's going to sit. I'm about a half inch to, in some spots, maybe a three quarters of an inch up. But it's going to all push and form to the bottom of the tub. David's going to help me set this tub back here. And remember, Dave, I got to skip this, but we got to go in between here and here, right? Mm -hmm. Straight across. And, and when I hit this line, I'll tell you when it matches up with that, we drop it down. Okay. One second. I got to step on the other side. Let me drop it down there so I can get a balance. I'm a little uneven. Good. Okay. Now we're good. Okay, right, pull it back on that line, you got to even out, okay, perfect, on the lines, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to step on it, get it down in here a little bit, because we got to get it to, it's got to scoot till it touches that board all the way, now what I'm going to do is make sure I get my measurement right, put a level on here, make sure it's all level, before we let this sit. So I'm going to go from the wall, 16 and a quarter. You can see right here, I put my line level right across it and we're on spot. I ran my line across the wall where you could see it and I'm, I'm perfect. Now you look right here and the bubble is directly in the center. We're good. You see how the motor mix just formed perfect underneath there. Everything's set in place. We're going to let it sit overnight to dry. Tomorrow I'll slap this plumbing in here. And of course everything else is ready. We'll just plug it in and we'll put some water in it and test it. Then after that we're going to go ahead and build this step up over here and finish off this area. This is going to really be nice looking when I'm finished. I'm going to put links in my description box, but this right here is my favorite level. This is a lighted level by Swanson Tool Company. This is a Bosch Professional GLL30. As long as you are close when you mount it, it's going to give you a perfect line. Now, if you turn this way over one way, it's going to be crooked. If you get close, it's going to self-level and put it in, in the spot that you want it to be and it's going to let you know if you're a uh, plumb and level. Check out this playlist right here and you will see a lot of the things that I covered in this bathroom. So you can do these things yourself. If you don't mind, please hit like for me, drop a comment, and I'll see you guys on the next project.